Danielle says she needs a DNA test because her stepbrother, Shane, is denying that he's the father of her one-month-old daughter. You see, they were introduced as cousins by marriage when they were kids, but then their parents got married and they began living as step-siblings. Shane's mother, Debbie, says she's always suspected something was going on, but now she knows it's true. And her son, Shane, could possibly be what she calls an uncle daddy. Take a look. As my son and my stepdaughter was growing up as step-siblings, I noticed that they was getting closer and closer, like boyfriend, girlfriend. And every time I would confront them, they would deny the fact of having a romantic relationship or a sexual relationship. So one day, Danielle got ballsy and told me that her and Shane was involved in a romantic relationship. We didn't really decide to have a baby at first. We just kind of, you know, joking around about it. Like, oh, it'd be cool if we had our own kid. It's time to start our own family. But whenever it came out that she was pregnant, I was, sho I was shocked. My son Shane feels like there is a strong chance that the baby might not be his because she was acting and carrying on with a gentleman at work. How did your romantic relationship start with your stepfather? How did it start and how old were you? I was 16 when it started. We were being raised as cousins at that time and then it got into me and him texting back and forth in like a boyfriend girlfriend type way because I started out saying hey I it's weird, but I got feelings for you, and it just went from there. And the next thing you know, my dad, his mom got together. They've been married for, I'm going to say, about four to five years. And now we're uh, stepbrother, stepsister. Did your parents find out before you got pregnant or after you got pregnant that you two were seeing each other? It was before. And how did they react? They were pissed. So then when you go to them and say, hey, I'm pregnant by Shane, what was their reaction to that? <laughs> they were extremely pissed. They were like, we told you not to. Y'all are not ready. We bought all these condoms for you, over 100 condoms. We've told you to get on birth control, and you still don't listen. What the hell's wrong with you? So they weren't happy that you and Shane were seeing each other, but they bought you 100 condoms. Yeah. <laughs> Shane, why do you doubt the, that her baby's not yours? Because, Steve, in the beginning, whenever I confronted her about the guy at work, she told me it's nothing, don't worry about it, he's just a co-worker. Do you love Danielle? Yes, I do, Steve. I do love her. I love her with all my heart. If I didn't, I wouldn't be fighting this hard. I wouldn't be here today. What Wasn't it strange for you when this started that you know, in a sense, you're, you know, it's almost yes, like a, first, it's a family member. It's, it's one big, it's a weird thing going on. So your, your mom, she takes care of the baby, right? She helps, yes. Does Not the, all the time, but right, she helps. I'm saying she helps. But does she believe that the baby's yours? She believes She's got her doubts mine. as well. Oh. She's got her doubts as well. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's bring okay. Debbie in. Hey, Debbie. Hi, uh, what? You know, I know at some point you, you had suspicions that your son was uh, dating Danielle. They eventually confessed, which, you know, had to be an odd thing for you, uh, you know, your kids dating. What, when you found out that Danielle was pregnant, how did you react to that? I was ready to knock her out. Why were you mad at her? I wasn't mad just at her. I was mad at both of them. Yeah. But I mean, your son's got to bear a lot more responsibility being older and getting in a relationship with a girl that's a teenager that happens to be his stepsister. Yeah, you're right, he does. And she needs to take on responsibility too because it takes two to tangle, not just one. Do you believe that it's your son's baby? I want it to be, but do I fully feel like it is? No. Okay. Well, let's find out if this is your biological granddaughter. Shane, you gonna 
If it's yours, you're gonna step up a little more? If it's mine, I will step up to my fullest capabilities, which should be around about 150% more than what I'm doing right now. Yeah, because to go from zero to anything is better than... Is better yes, than, yes right? sir, you're, you're, on, you're completely right on that. All right. Hey, Shane, why can't you be around right now? I have some allegations that are, it's got me on an uh, open case right now. So you can't leave the jurisdiction you're in? Yes, sir, that's correct. No, it's just that he can't be around any underage children. <laughs> oh, okay. Why can't yeah, you be no around? Why can't, on your why can't you be un around underage children, Shane? I'm not really supposed to get into it, but it's uh, allegations against me. That you uh, had sex with a minor? Yeah. That's the allegations, the allegation yes. Is yes. How do you feel about that, Danielle? It makes me mad for real, but he made his bed, he's got to lay in it. Yeah, I mean, but that, it sucks. That bed might end up being a cot in an 8 by 10 you right. So you might not be around for a long time, Shane. Yeah. <laughs> you don't seem too confident that you're going to walk away from that. Well, it's, he said, she said, actually, there's no evidence that anything happened. The girl, she went to the police and said, I did this. They have no physical evidence that I was even there. Well, if they don't need physical evidence in, the, in those type of cases. You know that, right? All right, Shane, you took a DNA test, and the results are that you are the father of Danielle's one month. Damn, I Damn, told Dan. you. I told you. I'm and sorry for ever doubting you. Times you've denied her. I'm sorry for doubting you. Maybe you I should look in before you start denying. Don't you feel? That your son needs to make a lot better decisions in his life? Yes. Yes, I do. I mean, sounds like he's in real hot water right now. Oh, yes, he is. And I mean, you know, you did a great job coaching Danielle to say she was 17. So you well, might want to be able to, you might want to be able to give your son advice about, you know, sleeping with underage girls. Oh, I tried to tell him. Well. Uh, you know, I'll say this, Danielle. I don't want to break up any relationship. I really don't. But I would say this. You should be the one saying, you know what? I don't want to get married right now. I want to keep my options open because you just might have to in the near future um, unless you want to wait a real long time for any kind of intimacy. But um, you need to slow down and worry about raising your daughter, not marrying Shane. Okay. Certainly not before all his legal issues are No, that's going to come in the near future. Right. So what I'm saying is don't get tied down. Uh, you might want better for yourself and for your child. Okay? Good luck to you. <laughs> My name is Steve Wilkos, and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. It was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.